And in, in their position, it talks about it in, this, in verses 11 and 12. He says, wherefore remember, and there's a comma there, wherefore remember. Most of the time when you see that word wherefore, it denotes uh, of change. It denotes like from this time forward or from this time on, wherefore remember. Then there's a comma there. This is a command. This is not a suggestion. He is telling them right in this, in this uh, 11th verse, wherefore remember that ye be it in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of the promise and having no hope without God in the world. But now, he paints... I'm going to get to verse 13, but look at 11 and 12. He's letting them know the position that they're in. It's seeming like you've been cast aside. It's seeming like you've been forgotten. Uh, but, but, but this circumcision uh, uh, that the Jews have come out, we can dismiss that because now that Christ has come by his blood, you are now part of the family. And, and he's letting you know that, that this, 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 this uh, circumcision in the flesh is made by hands. There is a circumcision that he's talking about, but it's the circumcision of the heart. He said that that man has done as circumcision by hand. But if you're going to be part of this, uh, it's the circumcision of the heart. And sometimes you wonder, well, how is that going to happen? Uh, you going to have surgery? Uh, They're going to have to go in and do something to your heart? Can, can, can I just kind of give you a transit how that comes? First of all, you've got to get your mind right. Because what your mind does is going to affect your heart. So, so what that saying is, once you become changing of your mind, it begins to cover and outright remove all of that hardness of your heart, all of that stuff of the heart that was not right. That is the inner circumstances that's now changed. And that's what takes place. We're not talking about a physical circumcision. So, 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 so in that, he he is letting them know that. It sounds like you have no way out of that. Uh, there was times when uh, you were not even invited in. And look, look, look at how it happens. Even in the temple, they were somewhat kind of an outcast. Because within the temple, there were four courts. Uh, that, that, that was the, uh, uh, the Atta Court. The Atta Court where the Gentiles were, and that was far they could go. They were on the Atta Court, and that, that was it. They, they couldn't come in any, any closer. Uh, then you had the court of the women. Most of the women were in that court. They settled right there. Then you had the court of the Israelites. That's where men would come and make their sacrifices. And then the uttermost court was the court of the holies of holies, where the priests would go in and make their original sacrifice. So those courts. But yet and still, the Gentiles themselves, uh, remember now, the Jews are still practicing under the law. They're still doing, they're observing ordinances and all of that by the law. And, and they're trying to convince the Gentiles that the only way that you can be part of this, you got to be circumcised. Paul, Paul saying, no, no, that's not it. Uh, 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 that, that, there's been a change in this. And, and, and when you look at that, uh, he gives them somewhat of a gloom uh, uh, in the beginning when he begins to talk about this. Uh, in verse 12, he talked about that commonwealth. And that commonwealth was that citizenship. Uh, 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 you can have this citizenship, but, but there is a way. And, and let, me, let me back up, because there's one thing I did want to mention in this. In this book, in this book, in this quarter, and, I, and we need to understand this, uh, 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 what is the theme for this, this whole quarter? It's on the outside of our book. Keeping. Keeping the faith, I-N-G, I-N-G, January, December, 2024, 2025, 2026, keeping the faith, it's, it's, it's continuously. You can never get out of that. So it, 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 uh, and, and, and reason that's important, when you look at verse five, verse eight in this thing, and we need to understand this, how are we saved? How are we saved? How are we saved? 
I, I'm looking for somebody going to say it in a minute. Somebody going to say it. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Uh, uh, come on, finish it. Come on. Come on. Oh, he missed it. Right, time's up. He, 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 here's what it is. God's gift, and he gives it to us. Grace. He does this for us. Where do we step in? Through faith. He gives grace through faith. We have to keep our faith. The grace is there. So, 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 uh, uh, as we look in these lessons, keeping the faith, anything that you do in life, you ought to have faith in God. I don't care what other circumstance come up. I don't care what, what, I don't care if you become famous or if you become whatever. You need to keep your faith in God. And, and so, 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 he, he, he lets us know that and, 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 and all this, but, I like, I like how he uh, brings it up. All of that seeming, they said, look like you were alienated. It looked like you were foreigners, and uh, uh, you really wasn't part of this. And they had interest of being part of Christ, but the Jews kept impressing on them, you can't be part of us. Uh, uh, you you've not been circumcised, so you, 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 you just, you're just strangers. You're foreigners. Uh, and Paul, Paul dismissed that. But I, I like the, the, the joy came in verse 13, those two words right then. It says, but now in Christ Jesus. But, but now, and gives them specifics. Now, not by any other, but, but right now, and that's us. We come in now by Christ Jesus. We don't have to go by any ordinances. We don't have to go by observing any rituals anymore. But now, by Christ Jesus and his blood, we are in. And he lets them, he lets them know that, 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 uh, it, that your position at one time, because you did not have this, uh, you were far off and made nigh by the blood of God. But, 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 but that's, that's no longer. Isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it exciting that we can come near to God? We can draw nigh to him. And I like it says, when, when I, I, if you draw nigh to me, what's going to happen? Ah, boy, that's some relationship, isn't it? I, I, I'm, I'm going to come, you'll come, and we'll just be, be together. That, that's that's kind of exciting. Uh, but, but, that, but, but being alienated, being strangers, have you ever gone to a strange town and not know anybody? Have you ever traveled somewhere and... And, 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 and you get there, as soon as you arrive in the town, you say, oh, now what? <laughs> I found the town and all this, but I don't know nobody. I don't know who to ask for nothing. And, uh, you know, your GPS can get you to the position, but it ain't going to tell you to introduce you to nobody. <laughs> it's going to get you there. But as soon as you walk in, you're going to look like a stranger. And they're going to know you're a stranger. And, and, and so it is for them. They, 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 they felt outward. They felt outcast. But, but Paul, Paul saying, look, look, you are now by Christ. You are part of the group now. Uh, 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 you can feel the part because God's grace is with you now. Uh, I said this on last week. Imagine your life having salvation but without grace. How, how would that match up? You've been saved, but you have no grace. Uh, uh, it's important that we have the grace of God. Uh, I, I look so many times, and, and, and I look at, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I say to myself, none but by the grace of God. And, and I can just sit to myself and, 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 and recall every instance that happened, and I have to admit to myself it was nothing but by the grace of God. Uh, so if you fall out of grace with God, you're in trouble. We need his grace. And, and so, so, so Paul, Paul, Paul now moves to the present positive and brought about their new relationship. Isn't that something? Having a new relationship with him. Uh, having strange and not having nobody, but having a new relationship. That's exciting for the Gentiles now. Uh, 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 they now have the same close relationship with God that was formerly reserved for Israel alone. That was just for Israel. Now they are part of this. We are part of that now. That's some exciting. Uh, uh, and and, and then, then, then now in this second part of the lesson, it talks about, that was when it talks about 
uh, that first part about it, it talks about their Gentile status. Now, it, and when we get to verse 14 through 18, it talks about Jews and Gentiles together. Let's just stop there for a minute. In 2024, does that seem really like it's happening? Uh-oh, somebody, I'm not hearing enough. <laughs> I'm hearing some monk, but I ain't hearing enough. In 2024, does that that see apparently that's happening? No, it's not. It, huh? It's not. But but it says Jews and Gentiles together. Yeah. But but but. And 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 here's here, here's the thing. I, I, I like that analogy. Looking at that. Aren't we yet all one God's children? Or aren't we still saved by grace through faith? And, and, and here, here's the thing I want to put in there. Jews can be God's chosen people, but if they're disobedient and rebellious, they're still his people. He's not going to cast them aside, but they're rebellious. They're disobedient. And, and when we look at Israel, possibly some of that must be happening. They have a lot of rebellious. They have a lot of disobedience unto God. And God allows things to happen when you become disobedient. Uh, uh, when you're not doing according to what he has told you to do, God commands us. He doesn't ask us to do anything. He commands us. He doesn't suggest. He commands. And we don't take it as a command. We take it as a suggestion. Uh, when God commands something, you need to act to it. Because it's for your benefit. Amen. And, and, and so it was here that, 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 that here it was they uh, 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 are together. But verse 14 showing up says something. When it talks about uh, togetherness, togetherness. Uh, and and I, I looked at that over and over again. You know, we have a we have a hard time with togetherness, even as folks, them folks that, you know, them, what we call us. We, we can't get together for anything. It's a, it's a travesty. I, I look at this and, I, and, and over and over again and, 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 and what happens. Uh, I, I look at some races or whatever. And, and I give them an A plus. You ever look at Asians, how they come together, how they build, how they move on? They don't play. When they come together and they move on, they moving on. They support their businesses, that, that. Uh, they don't care if you don't ever come to Chinatown. They got, they got their own clientele. They got everything. They don't need your help. They, they set up. But let you go set up a barbecue stand, you'll go broke. <laughs> and they'll complain, you know, it's high. <laughs> it's high. He charged too much. Uh, it ain't that good anyway. And then they pass it on. And, and our businesses <laughs> go down. We, we, we can't get together in, in anything, in anything, or we become envious. Uh, if they are successful, we become envious of what they're doing. But, but togetherness means something. So can you don't see this as Gentiles and Jews together? And now that's how Paul is painting the picture here that it happens. Uh, he said, for he is our peace. Life without peace. Can you write a story on it? I could write a book in the imaginary what life would be without peace. Uh, don't you know there's two peace? You can have the peace of God and the peace with God. Uh, the peace of God, when you become saved, that's your birthright. The peace of God is a blessing. We need God's 
peace. Amen. Uh, and, 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 and ultimately, when peace comes Overall, when peace overreigns the world, you know when peace is, is when it happens? When there's no war. Peace comes when there's no war. So, so, so it's yet to come. We have some peace. We have peace of God, peace with God. But ultimately, every, the peace being everywhere, once there's no war, peace rides over everything. So we need the peace with God. And it said that it had, it had broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Uh, 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 Christ, uh, 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 have you ever been, been, been partitioned off from something? I, I, when I looked at this, and when, when we moved in, some, some of y'all don't know about this, but when we moved in St. John, you know, there were two sides over here. One side over here, one side over there. We stayed on the other side. Some the other folks stayed on the other side. <laughs> The other side was here, the other side was there. It depends on where you say. It was always the other side. <laughs> but I stayed on the other side where uh, uh, Sister Jones, there's only two streets over there. See, y'all had more streets over there. <laughs> but, 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 but I looked, when, when I moved there, I didn't, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. It wasn't really in the houses like where, 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 where we stayed on Blackson and then and, and, Street over from that, so it was only two streets. But I looked at this and I thought about it. this was this was about in seventy when we moved at seventy two and seventy three. And at the end of the street, there was a fence. There was a there was a fence there. And 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 all that was St. John, but but on this side of the fence was us. On that other side, the fence was them, and 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 that fence stayed there, and 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 we were separated from them. It was an odd feeling. You could drive around that neighborhood and look at that, but we both in one neighborhood. But there was a fence, fence of partition that separated us. Can you imagine that that now that God says, you know, that there's a partition between you Jews and you Gentiles? I'm gonna break it up. I'm going to tear it down. No longer should there be a petition because we're going to be one. And oneness is something we ought to strive for day by day. Uh, we all want, and we are, we, we all God's children, aren't we? Uh, do, do we act like it? No. Oh. Yeah, I was hoping to get a yes. I get a lot of no's. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. He's saying now we are together. And, and, and in Christ's peace personally personifies only through him are believers reconciled to God and one another. Only by, see, that's the thing. We, we, we make a mess of trying to do it ourselves. But Christ has to be in us and with us. And then he can bring us together. And, and, and see, once you've had that heart circumcised, you can be, whether you be Jew or Gentile, and once you have that same heartness, that heart of same, we can come together. But we, we having a hard time coming together right now. Uh, 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 and, and you know what I, I, I say to this? Look at your personal agenda. What, what's, what's, your, what's your task as a disciple now? Are you on your task? Or are you just doing your business? Uh, sometimes we have to look at it. I'm doing my own thing. Uh, am I doing what Christ want me to do? He saved me so, so I can make a lot of money. Huh? He saved me so I could dress up in some good clothes. Uh, he saved me so I can go buy me some big houses. So sometimes the mentality of folk realize that he's saved and not that's the reason he's saved. He wants you to be his disciple. That's right. And 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 being his disciple, one of the things, and I and I and I and I want to just reiterate this because this may come up later. Can can we take self and bury it? Huh? We stumbling over self every time we look around. And we just keep stumbling, keep stumbling. So, so, so now when we look at this, it says that this oneness in Christ, uh, 
Uh, it talks about uh, uh, Jews and Gentiles together, 14 through 18. He said, look, and, and, and he reminds them, he reminds them the law was there. Nobody could hold the law. It was so stringent. It was, so, it was only one who could really uphold the law, and that was Christ. And when Christ come, look what happened. In verse 14, he says, now, it says, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandment. See, he, he abolished that. That was a ceremonial law. What he wants to establish in the law is moral law. And I want us to understand when we talk about moral, that's our living. How are you living? How are you living? See, you, can, you don't know how I'm living, but God knows. Amen. I can live one, one way Monday through, I can live Sunday through Sunday, but Monday through Friday, how you living? Amen. I'm going to come by and check how you living. Uh, Brother Hubbard called me yesterday. He stopped by my house. And uh, if he wasn't careful, he'd tell how I was living. <laughs> <laughs> I happened to be out in the front yard, and I was blowing, and there was a, there's a beer can down in the chair, and I just had to pick it up. And brother, I go <laughs> what kind of picture could that have been? <laughs> just finishing it up one for the day. <laughs> but, but you got to be careful on how you live, because you don't know who's watching you. And it behooves us to live Christ-like all the time. Uh, uh, and so, so, so it is, it says, look, and, and look, Jews always endeavored to live separate from the rest of the world and always wanted to, to a river between them and their unity. They never wanted any part of the Gentiles. They, they always wanted them to be separate. Uh, 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 but, but, but the two, Christ through his sacrifice, look, his sacrificial death, his sacrificial death is what we need to, he sacrificed that, that he would bring us together. No, nothing, we said that nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Uh, uh, he abolished the law, provided a new covenant that is inclusive for both Jews and Gentiles. Uh, 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 so, so Christ, Christ, when we look at this, uh, uh, this ceremonial law and the moral law, Paul uh, uh, called, uh, 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 Paul, he wanted them to all the motion of ceremony and does nothing for your salvation. Do all this obs observing, all of that, and nothing for your salvation. Uh, uh, we've got to be careful of how we do this. And then, look, he wants unification of all believers. Anyone who would believe, and it has nothing to do with race, gender, social, economic standing. All who believe. That, that's the whole essence. All who believe. Uh, uh, the unification of all believers, that's the church in Christ as well. See later includes the, abol the abomination of the, of the social. And we, 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 we it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. We still struggle with this. This, this racial division. We might as well admit it. <clears throat> we, we still struggle with that. Uh, there, there are certain races that uh, maybe, uh, let, 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 me, let, let me paint you a picture here. And he may be a devout person, but if someone come in, not the color of your skin, in a dashiki with a around his head and a Bible in his hand, what are you going to do? You ain't gonna stare at him, are you? Are you gonna, brother? Come on, have a seat. We we have a tendency to be on edge. Why? Because he don't quite look like us. All God's children in sight look the same, and we've got to adjust to that. One of the things that I, I keep in my mind, uh, uh, Brother McKinley, and, and I have to day by day, be careful of 
strangers who you entertain. For yet you may, that may be an angel. Here I am, man, get away. You need, to, you need to go somewhere. God may have sent intentionally that person. And here I am, shooing away. Because he doesn't fit my character, what you, you're not part of us. Uh, so, uh, uh, are you looking for another seat? You, you sure this, this is, you know, I'm, we're going to question it. Do you, do you, someone here, you, you need to see? So you don't think he come to worship with us. There must be some other thing he's come for. But his whole motive is that I'm a believer, and I see this is a church, and I just want to worship. And can we be hospitable enough to invite them in? We, we, they're just the nature, our human nature have a tendency to be on the edge. But we all want it. We are all one. And so when they look at this, and, 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 and he's looking at this, and, and, and as this comes together as one, He's letting them know that how Christ has done this. And uh, 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 in verse, verse 4, 15, and, and when he talks about having abolished in his flesh the enmity, the enemy of the law, the commandments, contained in the ordinances, all those ordinances. What's the reason you still going through all of the ordinances if it's going to do you no good? You know, I would, I would hate, I would hate, I would hate. Uh, to get there and God said, you were just going through the motion, so uh, you need to get away. All you were doing was going through the motion. You had nothing. Your heart never got filled. You were just seemingly like you were doing something, but you were never part of the group. Uh, and, and I'll tell somebody like this. When, when, when you accept Christ, and, and let me tell you something, it becomes a challenge in your life. Satan is angry, and he's going to take it out on you. The minute you accept Christ, he's so angry, he's going to take it out on you. And, 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 and most of us are not strong enough to handle his charge right off. He hits us and we rock a little bit. You know, that's, that's safe. But, 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 but when we get back up and we start eating some more words, you, 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 ever, you, ever, you ever see those things, those dogs, when they used to hit them, you used to punch them, and they come right back up? You punch them, they go, and they come right back up. When you get all of Christ in you, when Satan hits you, you go back up, and you stand right back up. He can't get you flat down. He does. He gives his whole punch, and it comes, and you go all, and you pop right back up. That's because Christ is within you. You got something on the inside. You got the Holy Spirit holding you up in you. But if you have not, he can knock you down. So that's why we need to be one in Christ. And, and, and so he tells us so, 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 so that, uh, 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 and then he says, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross. To be reconciled. Jesus came because humanity had gone away from God. And he needed someone to come back and redeem and reconcile us back to God. And humanity was so messed up that, that Christ had to come through 42 generations and, 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 and put on manly flesh and come down and save the world. And, and then by him being here, he preached it all that. But he knew that when he comes, that I can, I'm, I'm coming, but I'm coming to die. Uh, in order for this to happen, some blood has to be shed to save this world. And, and he knew that ultimately he would have to shed his blood. And so, so, so when we look at this, and he said, look, uh, 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 that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enemy thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that were nigh. Uh, Christ has done this through his blood. He reconciled both Jew and Gentile in God by the cross. Uh, uh, the enemy, the enemy, uh, 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 mortal death. In one single act of the sacrifice of the cross, Christ first abolished the ceremonial law, which for centuries separated humanity from itself and from creator. Second, he created a new, new humanity where he figuratively 
they slayed the enemy among people and making them equal to one another. Equal to, I'm no better than you. You know better than I. Can we get that? Can we ever get that? You are no better than I. I'm no better than you. Do we have a problem being equal? Somebody got to be better, don't they? But we're equal. We, we don't really need to be talking about status and all of that. We're equal. Uh, uh, you may know the Bible a little bit more than I do. But I'm yearning to be and learning for I'm just as equal as you are. You may be more knowledgeable in, in avenues. You may do something, but we are equal. And if we can get to that point and understand that, we're just one. One is one. I don't care what you do. One is just one. Uh, you, you can't make nothing else out of one. And so all together, and I, I, I like this, and Paul is heading that way. Because when you really back, and when you look at, at the 12th chapter of Romans, I'll go back and look at that sometime. Because he begged them in that first one, I, I, I beseech you, brethren, uh, 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 that you, that, that, you know, and, and sometimes we need to, uh, he wants a living sacrifice. He wants us to make a commitment. And, and that's a word that I hope that will resonate with us because our commitment, grade, our own, grade your own paper of where your level of commitment is. Uh, uh, hope nobody didn't get a C minus. Uh, uh, I hope everybody at least got a B. You know, maybe some A pluses in here. But, uh, we, we ought to at least get a B. Because we ought to be committed, committed to God's, what his will and his way. Not our will, not our will, but to his will and his way. And, 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 and I say this to myself, Brother Hubbard, if, I, if, I, if I'm not there, I need to take a picture of myself, what I need to get there. And I need to do it post haste. I don't need to waste no time for time running out. I can't do it tomorrow, I keep putting it tomorrow, I do it tomorrow, I do it tomorrow, it's right now. You know as folks say, it's ASAP, and it needs to be. So, so, so he did those two things. Uh, 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 he came and preached peace, probably refers to Christ's earthly mission in the ministry in the early church. He came and he preached peace. Uh, that's something that we can have comfort in. And that's why I tell a whole lot of folks, you ever sit at your home, and reading your Bible and seem like melancholy peace comes in. Have you ever just sit there and just in your individual reading your Bible? And there's certain there's a certain uh, certain feeling that just comes over you. You you if you had a mirror, you you catch yourself smiling uh, 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 because something there's some joy just coming in there and you just. Uh, uh, and, and so that, that's, that's what he came and preached, and, and that's for us as Gentiles. Uh, so, so when we look at that, that's, 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 that's the togetherness. But even in togetherness, uh, we're still one. We all get one. I want to emphasize on one. Uh, we studied this in the last week, and we looked at this. We are many... We're many members, but one body. Uh, can we ever get that in we talk about this oneness? And that's what he talked about. One church, one foundation. One church. Who is the church? Who are the church? Who is the church? Yeah, but I, I'm seeing, I see about 15, 16 in here. How is that going to be one? I'm, I'm counting 15 or 16, but we're saying we, uh, we won. Th that's the thing we need to understand. Many members, one body. So I'm looking at legs, arms, eyes, elbows, knees, all that. And that's how we're fitting together. Every part of us, we're the body, we're one. We're making up that one. 
but every part of us. And I, I hope we, I hope we, I hope we can understand this. Uh, uh, don't get up. Take that good old shower. Put on them good old clothes. Put that good cologne on that good perfume. Just come in for an hour and a half and hear the preacher hit and go home. Uh, that that won't cut it. I went to church. That's all you did. You just went. Uh, we ought to have some excitement about the word that brings us together. And so, so, so one church, one foundation. We are to be the church. And he begins to talk about it in verses 15 through 18. Uh, 14, no, no, let me go back. Let me go back because I, I made myself. Verses, verses 19 through 22. It talks about one church. One church, one foundation, verse 19 through 22. And listen to what it says. Uh, <clears throat> in verse 19, it says, uh, it wasn't more than that. Now, I like that what he says. You know some of these words that he says? He says, but, it gets your attention. When it gets to verse 19, now. That, that gets your excitement. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now. Now. Of all this that's happening, he says, now. Therefore, and, and let me, he says, now therefore, ye are one spirit unto the Father. Uh, therefore, when you look at that, means for this cause. And what is the cause? For now in this cause, you are one in cause. What is that? When you look at that, you have to go back and look at verse 13. That's the cause. And verse 13 says, uh, but now in Christ, ye who were sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Now, therefore, for that cause, now, now, uh, 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 you're no longer strangers or foreigners, but fellow citizen, citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Boy, that says something. Now, but you know, without having the blood of Christ, we can't do that. We are now jointly coming together. We are now oneness. That oneness come in. I'm going to tell you something. If you have not Christ in there, you can never get on the one stage. Well, it's going to be a one stage, but it's going to be me, myself, I. That's the one stage you own, and that's not going to work. It, it needs to move beyond that. Uh, 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 uh. And then, then I, I, I like about this uh, uh, when it says, and and and, and it says, and and and, and, and uh, here we have some benefit. You know, you know what I like about this? As Gentiles, they were kind to cast aside, and they look at all what the Jews were doing, and they wanted this. They wanted to have part of this, but they couldn't be invited in. But but when Christ come. And here's the thing that I like when he came. We have now access. We don't have to work for the holies of holies one time a year to go before us. We can personally, we have personal access to God. That's what that that's what does for us. That's 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 something that uh, I hate to call it. It's a benefit. It's a, no, it's a blessing that we have access. We can approach uh, 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 God the Father in one spirit. We can now approach him now. That's our access. Uh, uh, and then, then, then we have, uh, we can approach God as our Father who was bold. And, and you know, we can approach in boldness. When you approach God, you can approach in boldness now. Uh, 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 and that we are acceptable to him and that we shall not be turned down. That's the good thing about it. We can approach him, and we cannot be turned down. And so that's when he looked at it, and he said, look, and, 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 and he says, uh, now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellowships with saints and of the house of God. That we are now made one. I like this. Here Paul reminds the Gentiles that through Christ they have become fellow citizens. Through Christ. I like to just keep highlighting that. Everything has to go through Christ. Everything has to go through Christ. Uh, uh, without him, what's going to happen? We can do everything, right? 
We can't do nothing. We can't do nothing. So, 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 let, let, let me, I, I hate to bust your bubble, but all that striving to get that PhD in front of your name, all that do, ain't going it's not gonna buy you nothing. Uh, you, you, you're spending all that money, all that time, so you can have uh, nothing, just, 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 just four letters in front and five in the back. That, that does nothing, and if you're not in Christ, uh, what that gonna do? That's not gonna do you any good. And our whole mission is that we ought to be sure that we are anchored in Christ. Everything we do, we ought to reflect that Christ is in our lives, that we are living now morally according to the way he wants us to live. Uh, 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 do we slip up sometimes? Sure. Uh, but 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 I've come, uh, Sister Jones. I, I've come now. Nobody around, but I have to tell him I messed up. Nobody, you didn't know I messed up. But but I I, I knew within my spirit I, I messed up, and I have to tell him. Uh, uh, I, nobody ever tell me. I have to go and tell. I, I I I messed up, and I have to ask for that forgiveness, because I recognize that. And that keeps me in that good fellowship with him. Uh, so, 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 so in that, uh, uh, and, and then, then I, I, I like, uh, as he closed down, he says, uh, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. And here's all he's saying. The prophets had some input on this. The, uh, 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 the prophets had some input on They They were help nurturing this as it come along. They were there helping Jesus as he come along. So they had a good part of this. And uh, uh, we, we look today, have not nobody preached and hit to us. Where were we? We can learn, about, but we need, to, we, need, we, need, we need somebody to give us that word from, that God has given them to do in, in that raw state, in that fresh state. Because God can send through his messenger a fresh message. Uh, I hate to use the expression, but right out of the still has the aroma to it. And he says, serve the people, give it to them, and let them eat of it. And we become and we eat and partake that part of that word. It's something about it being divine, heavenly sent through one God uses and then it's sent out to us. We need that. We, we, can, we can read all we want, but we need somebody to, that has heard from heaven to tell us, thus said the Lord. And so the prophets and, and, and the apostles were a part of that, and they were keeping this thing together and the foundation of that. Uh, 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 Paul said that Jesus is the chief of the main cornerstone, and, and, and he holds together the whole building and keeps the rest of the foundation in place, while the apostles and the pro pro prophets are part of the foundation. Anybody know about foundation? Uh, 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 when, you, when that foundation is there, the, it, 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 it's important that, that the corners are real secure. Uh, uh, you cannot have one that, that is out of sync. But, 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 but not only are there corners, but there's a chief cornerstone. Christ is the chief cornerstone. You get that one right. Amen. You, 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 you can you start building there. You, you get that chief cornerstone that, that, that the foundation laid there. Christ is the chief cornerstone. And you can build on that. And one of the things that this is now, uh, 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 in whom all the building fitly framed together grow unto the holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for the habitation of God through the Spirit. Uh, the stability of the church is dependent upon none other than the one who is both builder and chief cornerstone, Christ. A building does not stop at the foundation. It needs fitting in other structures before it can be called a builder. It needs some other parts to it. It's just not the foundation. Uh, one of the things that I like about this, Jesus sees the members of the church as the stone. Listen, he sees us as the stone, which the master builder, which is Christ, craftily and meticulously fits together upon the chief foundation, Christ, into a magnificent edifice, a holy temple of the Lord, us. He puts that all together. But here's the thing I want you to do. I want you to remember. You got this.
God what he's doing. He's going to do it. But you've got, you, you know when we talk about the potter and the clay, if that clay don't yield to the potter's hand, he'll never get it done. He'll just be that fungus clay. But when that clay, we clay, we are clay. He is the potter. And he is molding and making us. He wants us to be something. And as he begins to mold us and take us, we need to yield to him. We don't know what we, he's trying to make us up. But, but he has already what he wants us to be. And he's making us day by day. He's working on us and molding us that we can be that finished product. One of the things, as, as, as time run out, that I want to say, uh, uh, I hope that we can understand this thing about oneness. Because we are, we are heading for a terrible turnaround in this world pretty soon. Uh, there's a lot of hostility going on because what happened the other day. You be careful, there's going to be a lot of insight. There's going to folk do something intentionally out of hatred. We're in some tough times right now. At oneness, it seems like it's far off. But those who know not Christ are the dangerous ones. And, and you don't know who they are. But I'm telling you, stay your step. Stay with Christ. Whatever is going to happen, stay with Christ. And, and I want to say this in our church, whatever happened, the devil wants to destroy the church. That's right. But let us keep coming. Let us keep trying to build up the body. Because when they talked about that growing, that was taken about new converts coming in. He wants converts to continually to come in. And, 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 and one of the things that we got to do, we've got to be receptive when they come in. Amen. You've got to show something about yourself. Uh, it would be a, a, a sad connotation, somebody walking in new life, and everybody just ate grape juice. Uh, had two lemons before they got here. <laughs> and now they on persimmon. <laughs> What's wrong with them? You know, hospital, we ought to have something wholesome about it. I don't care who they are. And all I'm trying to say, just has got it, and we, 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 we're working on it, whether it be social, racial, gender, is one. Amen. We, we, we start to make separations on our economic status, our social status, our racial status, even our gender, and we start to make divisions all along the line. You're right. But what God's saying, all of that is just one. And if we can get to that point, we are just one in God. Amen. Amen. Since we did not dismiss, we won't have a reassemble song. Do we have all reports up? Do we have any announcement? I mean, announcements. We're going to have highlights from the disciples class. Deacon Brian, everything he said, I try to hold on to. And he gives a very good lesson. Thank Amen. you, Deacon Brian. And in reading this lesson, I went through and I was saying when it says, uh, first, one in Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ has broken down the barriers that separates our people. And one of my thought was that we as people separate ourselves. We do not only yeah. in other countries, what's going on over there, but here in the United States. Mm. We in churches can't come together. Uh -oh. We have white Baptists, uh -oh. black Baptists, we <laughs> have Methodists, <laughs> we have Presbyterian. Uh, we have so many different religions mm -hmm. that serves God, say we serve God, yeah. but we can't come together as a people. 
And the whole lesson to me was that that's what God wants Amen. us to do, yeah. is to come together as a people and not let the religion separate us. Yeah. But we tend to do that, not only in religion and race and yeah. our social status yeah. and us poor black people. <laughs> I'm sorry. We can't come together as with each other. No. Like in the old days, no. I remember when we had neighbors we could depend on and go to our neighbors. Yeah. Our neighbors would help take care of us. But now, even if your neighbor's black, you can't depend you on them because everybody's trying to reach that social status. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, hopefully, and I pray that one day we can come together as one people. All right. Amen. 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 Are there any other highlights? testimony All right. and a highlight comes in with that absolutely, I guess absolutely. Uh, I don't know many of y'all don't know I was uh, hospitalized last year mm. in August mm. and when I went uh, my husband knew something was wrong with me, and my uh, son knew something was wrong with me. But me being stubborn and hard-headed, <laughs> I said, no, nah, I'm okay. Uh, but, and it was on a Sunday, my husband came home and said, baby, you all right? Because I had gotten just dark. And I said, yeah, I'm all right, it's just the sun. And uh, that Monday, I was meddling around the house and stuff, and my mom came to me. And I was messing, you know, just laughing on some stuff that she would actually say to me. And uh, something said, go in there and call the doctor. So I went in there. And I, I uh, told my husband, uh, I'm gonna call the doctor and see if I can get in today. And the, uh, when I call, the doctor say, oh, if you're having heart uh, problems or you're out of breath or something like that, you need to just go on to the emergency room. And I say, oh man, you, you can't see me today? And they said, no, because we don't have the equipment here. So I told my husband, I said, well, we're going to, I mean, I'm going to go to the hospital and uh, just see what they say. And he said, well, baby, you want me to go with you? I said, no. I said, because they ain't going to do nothing but check me and, and uh, send me back home. And so I drove myself to the hospital and told them, you know, that I was having heart, I mean, uh, not chest pain, but you know, I just couldn't walk and get where I need to go without being uh, gasping for air. And so when I got in there, the first thing they do is they ask you for your insurance and they want their money. Yeah. So the guy got all of that and then about five minutes later, they came back and got me. Make a long story short, they tested me in ER but, and they wanted to send me home. But they said, with the symptom you have, we're going to keep you overnight and do a stress test. So they took me upstairs to do the stress test and all that. But to say this, it was a young guy came in there. And I was looking at him like he was crazy. And I he should say like a her. Caucasian. You look like us? No, a Caucasian <laughs> guy came in there. A young Caucasian guy okay. came in there. And I was saying, oh, I wish he'd go and take uh -huh. my vitals and get out of here. Uh -huh. And when he got through taking my vitals, uh -huh. Tell it. without me asking, yeah. Say it. he said, Miss Etta, can I pray over All you? All right. All right. 
That's all right. And when he said that, huh. something just came over me. And I wasn't scared or anything. Now, they hadn't told me what was wrong with me yet. So uh, he prayed, and when that guy prayed and left that room, and let me tell you, his name was Sam. And when he left that room, the three days I was there, I never saw him again. So God is good. And when I went uh, to the operating room, they didn't see anything at first. And then they said, oops, there it is. When I got back to the room, one of us, head cardiologist, came in and said, Miss Hubbard, do you know you had 95% wow. blockage? Wow. And you were just a walking miracle. So God is good. Yeah. And, you yeah. Don't, yeah. and when you oh, see yeah. somebody, yeah, and right. like Rep, uh, I was going to call you Rep. But Deacon Brian said, you don't know who you're anything. No. That's right. No, you don't. And angels yeah, are I'm here right. among us. That's right. You sure are. So we just have to come together, be as one, as one. love one another that's it, that's it. as God has loved love us. us. That's it. It's hard sometimes, it's a, it's a but if we ask him for the yeah, strength, strength. And, and the wisdom to yeah. get around yeah how people treat you, yeah. but you always have to look at yourself yeah. also, yeah. because it could be something that you're doing, All right. or we're doing, because right. none of us are saints. No. That's right. So we just have to be mindful that, hey, we are God's children, yes, and we we're are. all of God's we children. Are. Amen. So we just have to get the ply, get plying down, because like I say, time is winding up. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Noah, any other highlights? If not, we're going to have review by Reverend Shield. Amen. Amen. Good morning, New Life. Good morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. I was just sitting there. My mind went, went way back to 1960. That's a long way back. It's a long way back. It didn't skip nothing. It just went on back. <laughs> and I was thinking about myself. I said, now, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we're all one. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I said, how can that be? But you can't figure God out. I hear you. God don't have to give us any reason for, for why he do what he do. That's right. I'm going to read this, this, this uh, verse here. Verse 18. All right. Verse 18. And then I'm going to Open the doors of the church, and then I'm going to... Pastor, I didn't see you sitting back there. God bless you. All right. Verse 18, it says, For through him we both have access. Yeah, that's right. Through who? Yeah. Through him. Yeah. We both, both have mm. access yeah. by one spirit unto the Father. The Father. Yeah. Through him. Yep. And as I was sitting in the church one day and and, and 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 I was a little bit older then and and God told me, give the preacher your hand and give your heart to God. Still didn't understand all that. But one day we're gonna leave this place. And we're going to go on where we've been working for all the time. Because God is good.
doors of the church open. All right, all right. There might be one here who would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You may come at this time. Ours to extend, yours to accept or reject. Amen. Amen. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Minutes of the New Light Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church, Sunday Church School, June 2nd, in the year of our Lord, 2024. The school was called to order by Brother Derek Hubbard at 9.30 a.m. singing This Little Light of Mine. Prayer by Brother Derek Hubbard. Scripture for today, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 11 through 22. The subject of the lesson, One in Jesus Christ. The main thought, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 21. The teachers took charges of the classes for 45 minutes. Officers present to, teachers present to, visitors none. Grand total attendance for today, 21. Grand total last Sunday, 11. Total enrollment in school, 56. New students enrolled none. New members received none. Total offering for today, $55. The weather was partly cloudy and humid. Total bubbles bought 21, number of birthdays none. Banners offering class, banner Bible class, and banner attendance class, disciples, um, $55. Number of bubbles 21, number of present, I mean, yeah, number of presents 21. The privilege was extended by Reverend Shields, class review none. Uh, the closing song, God Bless Our Sunday School, Prayer, um, prayer by Brother Derek Hubbard. Bible study at 12 p.m. noon on Wednesday. Uh, Sister Erie Molden, Secretary. Sister Irma Harvey, Assistant Secretary. Deacon Lee Jefferson, Superintendent. Brother Derek Hubbard, Assistant Superintendent. And Reverend Joseph C. McCormick, Pastor. Amen. 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 You heard from minutes. Are there any necessary corrections? If not, the minutes stand approved as read. Any announcements? Vacation Bible School. Vacation Bible School starting on the June the 6th through the 13th. What time? 10th. 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 The 10th. The 10th through the 13th. I have one other additional announcement. On next Sunday, uh, high school graduates we will be awarding them for the church on next Sunday. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. What time is, is it? Six to eight? Vacation, six to eight. Eight. Vacation Bible School from six to eight.